You guys win 89-72. A good win for you guys today. It was a good win. I, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to not have a heart attack today. So <laughs> thank you, Mustangs and Mustang Land. Uh, the one thing that I really wanted to comment on on this particular game was uh, the 24 assists that we had. I felt like we were firing on all engines and uh, was really happy to see that. Obviously, we had some <clears throat> turnovers, a higher count than we normally have. Uh, we had a lot of young players on the floor today, and uh, they're learning. So it was a good opportunity to get some really good minutes for all of our players today. And, uh, it just wasn't very precise today. It absolutely wasn't. The Mustangs go to 8 0 at home in front of their home crowd this season. Mustangs are now 5 and 1 in Big West Conference. Coach, uh, it kind of goes back and it goes without saying you got to take care of your home court and win the tough ones on the road, right? That is true. I'm very happy about how we've been able to maintain our home court advantage and certainly the great crowds that we've been able to bring out to Cal Poly. I am so appreciative of everybody that comes out and supports the team. I think uh, we've seen a notable increase in attendance this year and uh, people like to follow winners and champions and it's not too late y'all can still come out <laughs> jump on the bandwagon be a part of it we're all excited about uh, what's happening with the women's basketball program joined by cal poly head coach faith bimnaz the mustangs beat uc riverside 89 72 this afternoon coach you get 18 points from adel legato 14 from joan a urban and again we keep harping on the fact that joan a urban doesn't have the basketball over the coach in a row now, and I believe it is 17 assists that she has without a single turnover. It's really amazing, and obviously she could have played even more minutes tonight and probably racked that up, but she just is so sure uh, in her decisions. You know, she doesn't she's not a big risk taker. That I am not at all like that myself personally. I really value that in her. I know she spotted uh, Schlemer and certainly Maddie did a nice job with rebounding and we didn't really have to play Garza at the five spot today because uh, Gilbert and, and uh, Allen did a really nice job I thought holding down the court for us defensively and controlling the boards and ran the court well for us too so we got some easy buckets from that. Coach you guys are now 11 and 8 overall and 5 and 1 in Big West Conference play. Lots of conference season left but you got to like what you're getting from your troops all around effort. Uh, Taryn Garza uh, eight points, five rebounds, and six assists. And finally, after one game, she gets three defensive rebounds and two offensive. She's been ripping down offensive rebounds at an alarming pace. Talk about Taryn Garza. Uh, she is a great athlete and really has a nose. It's like nobody can deny her. She just is working, working, working the whole time. And uh, just love her play. She is an energy person for us and uh, unselfish, too. You know, she, she is doing what she needs to do to help us with scoring, but. You know, she'd rather make the no look. I don't know, this is totally in her great arsenal, but uh, she thinks it is. Uh, she's got the no look pass, and obviously with her six assists today, it, uh, it proves 
again, how unselfish she is, and she's just trying to win basketball games and make the best uh, opportunity for a basket. Not always her opportunity, but the best opportunity, and I appreciate that. 89-72 over UC Riverside. Cal Poly women's basketball now 11-8 and this season and 5-1 and Big West Conference play. Wonderful turnout. Uh, Coach, as always, thanks for joining us. One more question for you. You go on the road and you play UC Davis. They're a, a tough basketball team. They're right at the top of the Big West Conference with you guys. The Aggies, they're going to be tough on the road. Oh, <laughs> thanks for, you know, you wouldn't even have to get you. through a day of enjoying this one. Now we have to be worried about Davis. No, really, Davis is a, an excellent team. They've, got, they've had our number for a number of years. Hard to win at their place. They shoot the lights out. They shoot the three. They're on the Princeton offense. They have a buzz defense. I mean, we're going to be preparing the whole week uh, for them. And then Irvine is, is killing this year, too. So we got, can you just imagine this? We're going to Davis. Okay. Have to deal with all this. And then they send us to Irvine. Yeah, you got Irvine. It's a oh, tough back-to-back. This back is to back. the wackiest thing I've You go ever from heard. Northridge to Long Beach, and now you got, of course, Davis and, and Irvine. But like you say, and you said it all along, it, uh, you got to beat the best to be the best. And right now you're at the top of the Big West Conference. This is true. And uh, if we can do just an outstanding job on the road, I mean, it's they're both quality teams. Play tough. I don't know if about wins, but we're going to play hopefully uh, the best that we can on the road. Be in every single game. Coach, congratulations on the victory. Uh, savor it while you can. Uh, we will not be with you at Davis, but we'll be with you down in Irvine. Congratulations again. 89 72 over UC Riverside today. 5 and 1 now in Big West Conference play Cal Poly and head coach Steve Oh, thank you. Thank you so much.